Isolated flooding has already arrived in Tarrant County. Homes, streets are there, and many of them are swamped. News 8's Bradley Blackburn, live tonight in Mansfield, actually standing in the water. Bradley, is it going down at all? Actually, John, uh, you know, it's going up. It's the, the water has risen in the last hour or two, even as we've seen the sun start to, to peak out. Right now, I'm standing on Walnut Creek Drive, and this is Walnut Creek. It is obviously beyond its banks. It's spread across a four lane road, and it's completely covering this park. Now, this is working the way it's supposed to. This is how the drainage is designed to work. But in so many parts of our area today, all of that rain just ran out of room. The rain came down hour after hour. Storms that knocked down branches, dumped water that filled streets. Valleywood Drive in Arlington, just one of many spots where a driver got caught. The water stalling out this minivan where it stayed stuck. Just walk this way. And not far away, Gary Morrill was stuck, surrounded by water. Right where that line is. Creeping far too close to his house. I'm a hair away from it flooding again. Just a few weeks ago, his home flooded. He and his wife Elena lost furniture and thousands of dollars in collectible baseball cards. This is box upon box upon box. The Navy veteran getting help from volunteers to put sandbags along his fence, but it has not fixed the problem. All the concrete on the shopping center, it all comes right down the street to this storm drain. He's frustrated that the city of Arlington hasn't done more to fix what he says is a major drainage issue that's gotten worse in recent years. It's just really hard to look around and see what I'm dealing with, knowing that in 10 minutes it could rain. And here I go again. Further south, water crept onto roads, forcing closures, but the drainage seemed to work. Here in Mansfield, Walnut Creek is well over its banks. You can see just how high the water is. I'm standing on a hike and bike path, but this is working the way it's supposed to. They want this water to come here instead of going into neighborhoods. It filled up Hardy Almond Soccer Complex, covering sports fields. In a few minutes, we saw it rise over the pavement. That's probably about nine or 10 feet high. It's a streaming river at this point. I've uh, never seen it like that before. But better here than in homes. And as I said, it's only climbed more since we shot those pictures. The water has probably come up about two feet since we first got here around four o'clock this afternoon. Authorities here in Mansfield are keeping this area blocked off from all sides. They've been playing this cat and mouse game with this area all day, trying to keep people safe. And street flooding has been a problem not just here, but also in Fort Worth. And that's where my colleague Todd Unger is tonight.